Okay, well, this week we're going to look at uh, scales and intonation again, and uh, we'll briefly review what we went over next week, or last week, rather, and uh, look at how Zen uh, actually uses these scales, tell you where to get a bunch of scales, and uh, have some fun. Okay, well, this should look familiar to you by now. It's uh, Zen and the keyboards brought up. Uh, before we get started, though, I'd like to briefly recap what we went over last week because we burned through so much so quickly. Uh, if you remember, we talked about octave equivalency and how we're kind of hardwired for that, or seem to be. Uh, then dividing up an octave into, into fractions and, and smaller number of fractions uh, or fractions with smaller integers uh, seemed harmonious to people's ears. How the fourth and the fifth work, uh, the fifth, the cycle of fifths, how we come back to the original frequency, and how all that kind of relates to just intonation in that uh, notes harmoniously uh, mix with each other uh, in a scale and that as we uh, tried to get from the uh, medieval to renaissance how people started playing more and more with thirds uh, up to Bach in the 1600s uh, who tried to show that a, a keyboard could be tuned so that it played well in all in all keys and and maybe wasn't perfectly uh, in tune uh, but but was close. And then uh, coming up to the 20th century, when we've almost exclusively gone to an equal-tempered scale, uh, that musicians, uh, acoustic-type people, think that this is horrible, that uh, by, by doing that, we've got everything slightly out of tune and nothing sounds good. Uh, we should be using just intonation of one kind of another, uh, leading up to many, many experiments with different scales and, and the number of notes, uh, 31 notes, 53 notes, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, lastly, I, I don't want to give you the impression that that's all cultures. Uh, that's kind of a burn through uh, European culture at the time. Uh, different, different cultures had different number of notes in scales. Uh, Arabic uh, scales, you know, 16 notes. Persians had a 24 note scale. Uh, there's old, old flutes they found in uh, Egypt that had seven-note scales, Japanese music's five-note scale. So this, this choice of how you divide up an octave, or in some cases we'll see more than one octave, uh, uh, is, is purely personal. It's a, it's a culture thing. It's a musical taste thing. Uh, we might well be indoctrinated into a 12-note scale, but it doesn't always have to be that way. So to get started with this week, we'll go to Zen and notice that uh, here in file, I can say show scale settings. And this is the scale. And this, for some reason, the, the math teacher in me is kind of a Offended by this, uh, we, we already know a doubling of frequency is an octave. Here's the octave note. And for some reason, they call these cents as in percents, or what we usually think of as cents. And there's 100% in here, but notice it's one, two, three, and that's how they, this is just how they express it. Uh, another thing I want to point out as we go through, this is an A note at a 440 hertz uh, uh, and notice it's got three decimal places. Notice that these have six decimal places. Kind of, kind of, just with Zen. Uh, sometimes this thing doesn't act real well if you enter numbers without all the decimal places. Uh, so, I mean, it means 100 point and then six decimal places. Uh, not always, but sometimes it kind of seems to lock up and act funky. So when you're entering these type of parms, make sure you, if you're doing it uh, decimally like this, you put in all six decimal places. So so let's go change this. Uh, we'll uh, put in maybe our fractions. We come up here and we can enter those as decimals, as, as you see above, or we can just put in fractions. Nine eighths. Whoops. I said nine eighths. No, five fourths. Four thirds. Three halves. Uh, five thirds. 
15 eighths. And there I have a, a scale that I've just slammed in there with reasonably small integers. I say retune, watch the notes per, wait, before I say that, here is the notes per uh, octave. We're going to retune. Now we've got seven notes. And let me uh, bring up Seek 24. You know I, I like to use this to demo things. This is Mary Had a Little Lamb. That didn't sound very, very Mary Had a Little Lambish to me, and uh, that's because our choice of scale is a little bit different. We talked before about the keyboard and how the, the MIDI notes go in there and the mapping. Let's, uh, let's bring up a different scale and try it. Uh, here, I want to talk for a minute about Scala, uh, or Scala, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Uh, but there's a, a site, and I urge you to go to the site, put in Scala, S-C-A-L-A, -A, uh, downloads, and you can download uh, over 4,000 scales in SCL, which is scale format, and import any of those into this and, and experiment. And I've done that, so uh, let's go. Let's go look for some scales, and I happen to have mine right off my uh, home. And there's a scale. And notice this text window over here. Uh, 95th root of 5 to the, you know, it'll, it'll tell you things. In, in general, ET means uh, equal temperament. Uh, if you see a JI in here somewhere, those are usually for just intonation. And we can pick any one of these scales. Here's an inverted Schlesinger uh, scale, uh, which, you know, I have no idea who Schlesinger was, but these things are fun to play with. Here's a scale. Uh, made on a on a pentachord so let's just import that notice uh, what it says i always hit retune just to be sure let's try this again let's uh import another one Wait and see what it says. Seven note scale, eight note scale. Wow. 70 note scale. Let's try it. So anyway, through I mean you can you can pick any number of these scales. Uh, where's my A V? Uh, seven note, seventeen note, nineteen note, uh, seven note chromatic. A diatonic scale and you'll you'll learn to a Dorian mode soft diatonic I don't know what's the difference between a soft and a hard diatonic but we'll take it as given here's 12 tone scale we would expect Mary had a little lamb to be a little closer back to normal let's let's try that <laughs> Okay, so anyway, you see how this works. Uh, again, just to, just to go back over this, file, uh, show scale settings, then you can import an SCL file that hopefully uh, you've downloaded many of those from the Scala site. Uh, like I said, the, the look at the notes over on the right when you, when you do a scale import, uh, see what they have to say about it. 
uh, play around with this. J I just intonation. T E like a twelve T E T is twelve tone equal temperament. Uh, you'll see some W T's in there for well tempered, which uh, isn't exactly equal tempered uh, as as we discussed. And and just play with this stuff. The the interesting thing about this is uh, fretted fretted stringed instruments. Uh, tuned pianos, uh, those kind of things. That there's not much experimentation you can do with uh, other scales, or it takes a lot of work. Uh, synthesizers give us the ability to really explore music in a way that it hasn't been nearly so easy to explore in the past. So I urge you, get in here, play around, uh, make up some tunes, try your own different things. You probably heard on the intro to this, and you'll hear on the outro, uh, a regular uh, little piece in Seek 24 that, that I made uh, that starts with a equal temperament uh, scale that we're all familiar with, goes through a 19 and a 31 uh, position scale, and, you know, from for my taste, gets a little horror movie-ish there at the end, which, which uh, might not be to your taste, but can be fun. So anyway, that's it. Uh, that's all we're going to do with scales and intonation here with Zen, but I hope that's enough to whet your appetite and make you go try to, try to get in here and play around. Uh, I'll see you next week. Okay, well, that was that, and uh, I hope that I've encouraged you to experiment a little bit. There is a ton of of experimentation to be done here yeah the midi keyboard the or the keyboard setup and piano roll aren't aren't perfect for uh for um you know different different numbers of notes in a scale but i think uh you can work around that otherwise uh look at the versions get on the websites download those scales uh play around and get your get your head opened and i'll see you next week <laughs>